This week in the galley, we're in Anaheim, California at Each Street. And standing next to me is Katie Avrio, and she's the owner operator here. And what is it you have for us? I mean, you're a chef too, I'm sorry. No, yeah, I am. We're going to be making salmon and papillote today. It's a French preparation of very fresh, healthy fish. That's pretty simple. Seems like gourmet, but it's very simple. All right, cool. Well, how do we get started? Ready? Okay, so you're gonna take your salmon and you're gonna take about six ounces, which looks like this. You're gonna need a half piece of parchment, fold it in half, and the whole thing with salmon and papillote, it means salmon and paper. So we're going to make a pouch out of paper. Your salmon's gonna go right here. Then you're gonna do about a tablespoon of olive oil. Right on top of the paper like Over that? Over the top, yep. And then orange segments, very particular. Uh, the proper way to cut an orange is to cut the ends off and then go around, around, around. A lot of times you will see people cut straight through and you get a lot of the white pith, which is not necessarily what you want. You are going to go around, around, around. And then, even if you're bartending, the proper way to do oranges is go between. So when you pull the segment out, there's no white parts. So for this, we only need about three or four segments. Anything you put in your papillote, today we're doing very French, because that's classic, is gonna get infused. The flavor's gonna get infused in there. So the first thing we're going to do is citrus, which is orange. The next thing we're going to do is fennel. This is also called anise. Um, in a different preparation, we might use this as the herb, but for our Today, we're going to use the bulb where you're gonna cut off the ends, very similar to the orange. And you're just gonna use very thin slices of it. So you're gonna go in a flat place like this and against your knuckle, you're gonna go thin, thin, thin. Anise is typically a very licorice-y flavor. Even if you don't like licorice, it's kind of a subtle licorice. So you're going to layer that on. The next thing you're going to do is basil, where you roll it up and make strings, and that also will get infused into your salmon. You're gonna put a little bit of salt, sprinkle pepper. Last but not least, you're going to put about a tablespoon of white wine. You're gonna take your parchment, and the faster, the better on this. You're just gonna go around, 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 around. And onto your half sheet of parchment, like this. Uh, if you're cooking pork or beef or chicken, you can really go by temperature or the way the meat feels. With salmon, not so much, especially when it's in a pouch. You have to go by time. So your oven should be at 425. You're gonna put it in there for 12 minutes. This is something where it doesn't matter if you go a little bit under because as you know, some people like their salmon a little bit raw in the middle. So I go by time on this. And one telltale sign you know it's done. You will. You can actually see through the paper that it's boiling. The, the liquids in there, your white wine, your olive oil, will be boiling. After 12 minutes, you're going to take it out, cut it open with a knife down the center. The best way to do it is in front of whoever is eating it. The steam comes out and all the beautiful flavors, your basil, your orange, your fennel, come shining through. That is really good. And the steaming just kind of adds to the moisture of it and keeps it moist. Anything that's in the pouch goes into the fish. That's awesome, Katie. Thank you very much. You're welcome, Dan. Thank and you. And Katie Eat Street is uh, located in Anaheim, California. And thank you very much. This is great. Well, let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing.